asking for Russia for protection, extra protection. Um, what is your take on? Good afternoon. Uh, I don't have anything, but I'll say with apologies from the top. The president has a speech scheduled at 1.30, so if I have to wrap a bit early today, that's why. So let's get to it. Sure. Well, yeah. Uh, also, yeah, I'd like to ask you about Transnistria. Um, the, Here comes the, Matt, complaining uh, I'm on time uh, again. It was like 45 seconds. Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Go ahead. Yeah, no, no. It's so. Um, uh, the, the separatist authorities there are asking for Russia for protection, extra protection. Um, what is your take on what's happening there in, in that region? So uh, given Russia's increasingly aggressive and destabilizing role in Europe, we are watching uh, Russia's actions in Transnistria and the broader situation there uh, very closely. Uh, the United States firmly supports Moldova's sovereignty and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders. And we continue to encourage Chiasnu and Tiraspol to work together and identify solutions to pressing concerns of communities on both sides of the Nistru. Matt, do you want me to uh, come no, to you now? You okay. I think it was two minutes. I think it was two minutes. It was supposed to be two minutes. Yeah, well. I <laughs> Humera, go ahead. Um, Time is relative. <laughs> Time is a flat circle. Uh, I just want to ask a little bit about the settlements. Uh, Matt, um, so after Secretary's uh, announcement last week, um, Israeli Finance Minister Smotrich doubled down <coughs> on, on those plans and he said, um, you know, Israel will continue expanding the settlements in the occupied West Bank. I mean, <coughs> first of all, do you have a response to that most recent uh, announcement? So my only response is that we are going to continue to be very direct with the government of Israel, both uh, privately and publicly, that we think that uh, their settlement program <laughs> is both a, an obstacle to peace and inconsistent with international law. Right. This seems to be another topic between Israel and U.S. that you guys are increasingly at odds and uh, diplomacy, whatever you're saying to your Israeli counterparts, does not seem to be working. Um, you're unable to convince them. and. You're also pushing for a two-state solution, and so how how are you? What are you going to do differently to uh, get Israeli counterparts on board? How are you going to reconcile the expansion of the settlements with a two-state solution that you're pushing for? So first of all, I'd say the disagreements between the United States and Israel over settlements in the West Bank uh, are something that de that date back far beyond the outset of this administration. The, these disagreements go back decades, in fact, over multiple administrations of both parties in the United States and multiple governments of Israel. So that's not <coughs> a thing that is new uh, in terms of a d disagreement between the United States and Israel. Yes, but with it, with, really with, with, but like with, to be the no, no, that but, that. Yeah, of course, and with it, with respect to the the broader question. We are going to continue to make clear to them, as I said, that we think settlements are an obstacle to, to peace, uh, inter inconsistent with their national law, and we're going to have this conversation with them in the context of the larger challenges that Israel faces and the larger opportunity that we are uh, ready to present to them with Arab partners in the region. So we've talked a lot about the work that the Secretary has done with countries in the region who want to further integrate with Israel, um, want to provide security assurances to Israel, want to move past the disputes that have existed between Israel and those countries for decades, uh, but they're going to need Israel to make some hard choices. So we're going to continue to do that work and have those conversations with Israel. But as I said, a number of times, and as you've heard the Secretary say, ultimately it's Israel that has to make those decisions, and nobody else can do it for them, not the United States, not anybody. ...and territorial integrity within its internationally recognized borders, and we continue to encourage... Uh, I don't have anything, but I'll say apologies from the top. The President has a speech scheduled at one... ...asking for Russia for protection, extra protection. Um, what is your take on... Uh, also, yeah, I'd like 
like to ask you about Transnistria. Um, Here comes they... Matt. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, Good. Yeah. Situation there uh, very closely. Uh, the United States firmly supports Moldova's sovereignty. No, no. It's so um, uh, the, the separatist authorities there are 30. So if I have to wrap a bit early today, that's why. So let's get to it. Sure. Please. Stabilizing role in Europe. We are watching uh, Russia's actions in Transnistria and the broader city. What's happening there in, in that region? So, uh, given Russia's increasingly aggressive and de